Hello guys, this is Rick Utzer here with Ergon Web and Ergon Web TV. And today we're going to take a look at a great replica revolver. This is the Webley Mark VI. This thing's pretty cool and if you're into replica air guns, you're going to love this. We'll be right back. So let's get into some of the cool features about this particular gun. First things first, the look is really, really impressive. The metalwork on this, the attention to detail on the product is really, really cool. It does have a safety here. I don't think the actual real McCoy had that, but in today's world, you gotta have this safety. And it's not obtrusive. I think it looks okay where it's at. The way the metal looks on this gun, to me, is just very, very impressive. The weight, it feels really substantial. It does not feel cheap at all. If there's anything about this that maybe seems a little bit less than I would like it, uh, the grips are a little bit plasticky feeling. Um, that's about it. I wish these were a little more substantial, but I can frankly get over that because of the rest of the product. The way this works is pretty slick. So you've got a release here, pops that right open. Here's your cylinder. This is a pellet revolver, not a BB revolver. So this has a rifled steel barrel. When you look down the barrel there, you can see very clearly that it's rifled. So we're gonna go ahead and load this up with pellets. Uh, I've already got a CO2 in here, so that's actually a very simple process. I always like to use a drop of Pelgun oil or some sort of lubricant on the tip of my CO2. That helps keep everything lubricated in the gun and helps things run smoothly. So to load this up, pretty straightforward. You're going to take your pellets and you're going to insert them in the rear of the, each of these cartridges here, just like that. Okay, once they're loaded, go ahead and push this lever here and you're able to break open the action, drop in your cartridges. And you are ready to roll. Now it is on fire. The pistol operates in both single and double action. We'll do double action first here. Just like that, we wanna shoot single action Go ahead and take these and load these up again. All right, now in single action, you're gonna pull the hammer back and then pull the trigger. Just like that, very, very simple operation. There's nothing uh, surprising here other than to me, the quality that, that comes across in this, the way it feels is really good. I do wish the grips were a little bit more substantial. It didn't sound quite so plasticky, but that aside, very, very nice. Now, let's talk a little bit about something that I think was really cool. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so this, folks, this is not an air gun. This is my Taurus 357, and this little guy here would give Dirty Harry fits. Why? Because this is a seven shot and not a six shot, but that's besides the point. What I wanted to see with this is, this is a really nice trigger. I mean, really nice, um, surprisingly so. And I put this on a trigger gauge. So on single action, when I go to pull the trigger, it's a little bit of a second stage creep, just a teeny little bit, but the pull weight is right at four pounds. Double action, Super smooth and lighter than I would have expected at eight pounds. Now, how does that compare with an actual revolver? Well, again, it's my Taurus seven shot 357, single action, four pounds, right at that same level. The one of the things that is a little nicer with this being an actual firearm is there's no creep in the second stage. It is very precise on the single action. When it comes to double action, however, 
the pull weight on this is actually a little over nine pounds. So this actually in double action at eight pounds is very easy compared to an actual firearm, at least this actual firearm. Put that down here. So I really, really like this from a, just a collector's perspective, from something that's just plain old fun to shoot. And I think the best part about this, okay, it's easy to shoot, easy to load, easy to work. All of that stuff is, you know, really nice, but it's also very accurate. That's not something you always get with these replica pistols, but it is a pellet pistol with a rifle barrel, and they've done a very, very good job at making this fun to shoot and effective even out to 10 yards and that's kind of a stretch for some of these replica guns to actually get good consistent groupings at 10 yards this is something really really special well that's going to wrap up our look today at the webley mark 6 this is a great replica pistol if you're looking for something to go under the tree or looking to maybe that's a you got to have a big stocking but if you're looking for something for that air gunner that already has everything or you want something just kind of a special collectible item this is very, very slick, um, very good high quality. It feels great, shoots great, and I don't think you could go wrong with this. I'd like to take a moment and thank Pyramid Air for sponsoring Airgun Web in these videos. You're looking to get your next air gun, your pistol, your rifle, whatever it is you're looking to get air gun related, please do it over at pyramidair.com, www.pyramidair.com. And when you're looking for real world air gun reviews, remember Airgun Web, where we're gonna tell you the facts, not fluff. My name is Rick Euster here with Ergon Web. Thanks for watching.